Hi, with this video I'm going to demonstrate how to activate ODBC tracing on Windows and what the different options for the DataDirect ODBC trace library are. To start the ODBC tracing, make sure that the application that you want to trace is stopped. Then go to the control panel, administrative tools, and start the ODBC administrator. In the ODBC administrator, I have defined a system DSN connecting to an Oracle database. You can also find a tracing tab. Make sure when, uh, when tracing to activate machine-wide tracing. This is in case your application runs as a service. You can change the name of the log file and also make sure that you are using the data direct tracing library. The name for the data direct tracing library is ivtrc27.dll. Click start tracing to start the tracing. Once that's done, you can stop the ODBC administrator. Once ODBC tracing is activated, start the application that you want to trace. In this example, I will use ODBC test. ODBC test allows you to execute a specific ODBC calls and uh, SQL queries. I'm going to connect to my Oracle data source. And I'm going to perform a simple select. The data is fetched. Now, if I do a select to a table that does not exist, and execute that, an error will be thrown. Now, let's stop the application. And let's have a look at the ODBC trace log generated. The data direct trace library will generate two files, the ODBC trace itself and SQL info.log. We will come back on the second file in a minute. When I open the ODBC trace log, you can see that uh, the ODBC calls are, are tracked. And when we go to the bottom of the file, you can see the select of the dummy table and the error that was generated has been locked. The SQL info will contain a timestamp. This is the timestamp when the connection was made. It will also contain the name of the database we have connected to, the version of that database, a detailed a driver name and detailed driver version. It also contains the uh, transaction isolation level used. Every time you make a new connection, uh, a new uh, timestamp is inserted in this file. The data direct trace library will also put enumeration to your file. With the data direct trace library, you can limit um, the number of files generated. To show this, or to set this, you have to go to the registry. In the registry, you go to HK Current User, Software, ODBC, ODBC.ini, and there is an ODBC section. To limit the number of files generated, you have to set ODBC trace max num files. The default is set to 10. If you set it to 5, the ODBC trace library will generate five files. When the fifth file is full, it will revert back to the first file, delete the content, and start all over again. You can also set the max file size. The default for this is 102, 400 KB. Once this uh, limit has been reached, the trace library will start a new file with the next number. Another important option with the data direct uh, trace library is ODBC trace flush. By default, ODBC trace flush is, uh, is zero. 
so not activated. And ODBC trace flush set to one will make sure that after every ODBC call, the call is flushed to the ODBC trace library, uh, uh, log. This is important. For example, if your application crashes, it's not, and ODBC trace flush is not set, it's not certain that all the ODBC calls are flushed to the log file. Another option that's important, that's trace options. The trace options uh, property can have three uh, options. Zero, that's no options. That's the trace file like we saw it. Uh, set to one, it will put a timestamp uh, with each ODBC call. Set to two, it will um, provide process ID for uh, every ODBC call. And set to three, that's the combination of one and two, and we will dem I will demonstrate that. So I will set it to three. So then you have timestamps and process ID locked. So let's start OLBC test again. Let's make a connection again. Let's call an OWC function. Get type info to display all supported types by this driver. Let's close the connection again. If we look at the OWC trace log now, you can see that it contains a timestamp and process ID. Once OWC tracing has 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 been done, make sure to stop ODBC tracing. It's very important to stop it because ODBC tracing has a serious uh, performance impact. To stop it, just click on the stop tracing and then uh, the button will show start tracing now. And this is the end of the video showing ODBC tracing and the options of ODBC trace library.